Good evening uh, um, and welcome to Le Pensier. I am Valentina Pico. I am the clinical research manager at Fundacion Meriu and also uh, the scientific conference manager at Fundacion Meriu. So it's my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of Fundacion Meriu to this uh, event. Actually, this is the seventh edition of the vaccine acceptance. So we are very proud to have carried this meeting for so many years here at the foundation. and. Um, and to see it grow and, uh, and webbing so many initiatives and so many possibilities among the participants all over the world that actually renews participants, but there is always this core people that make the, the meeting happen. And so we are extremely glad to see this taking shape as the, day, as the years go by. Um, I'd like to first thank the, the members of the scientific committee who have been part of the shaping of this meeting's agenda, Kate Adwell, um, Cornelia Bersch, who was unable to make it this time, he, he unfortunately. Eva Dub, Arnold Gagner, um, Sad Omer, Jonas Sivela, Susan Sux, and Angus Thompson. So I'd like to thank them so much for their support. And I'd like to thank Cindy Grasso, who you all know, and has been backing up all the organization aspects of the meeting. Just a word about Fundacion Meriu. So Fundacion Meriu, for those who have not been here for the seven, seven years in the past, is a family foundation. We are a 50-year-old family foundation. Uh, we have pastarian roots uh, because uh, our founder, Charles Meriu, who found the foundation in 1967, was, uh, his father was a student of Louis Pasteur. So we are back to these pastarian roots in our path. Um, um, we have a charitable status that was given by the French government in 1967. So our, we're a charitable foundation and we work in many directions. For the purposes of this meeting, I would like to say that we have a knowledge sharing and dissemination of information around the globe. And so we carry about 17 com scientific conferences and public health conferences on global health, not only in Le Pensier, but in, in, in many areas of the world, Africa, Asia, also Latin America. And we carry two, uh, three actually um, iconic courses, one in vaccinology, one in diagnostics, and now actually a new course on antibiotic resistance. So we try to spread the word and disseminate knowledge on, 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 on important topics on, on, on global health, trying to bring together not only the um, <laughs> certain target populations, European, but we're also very concerned about them, low, middle, and income countries where actually we mostly work in the field. We also work in the access of healthcare uh, for people in, via diagnostics, via improving the um, healthcare uh, um, in many in capacity building. Uh, I will not show you slides today because I think in the probably just giving a speech on what we do will be sufficient. There are many of you that have been here before. And we also work a lot in the um, research uh, aspect. So we work in refugee camps, in, uh, in Rohingyas, in Syrian uh, refugee camps. We work with numerous NGOs, international organizations in, to, in order to put in place a number of our activities in the field. Um, so this being said, evidently, this topic is of major importance in the globe because we see the reemergence of a number of diseases. You are the experts, I am not, but we obviously see the reemergence of measles, of yellow fever, and, and also the, the major aspects of hesitancy and resilience that we see happening not only in educated people, but also people that are uneducated, and this is becoming one of the biggest pathology now. Uh, when, when the vaccine preventable diseases are being challenged so bad. So uh, this being said, we are happy to welcome you back. For those that are back, we're happy to welcome you, all those that are new to this um, conference. And we expect that this conference will uh, radiate not only here during the studies and a half, but also beyond with the information that we will carry out from this meeting. So thank you so much for being with us today. Um, so I'd like to invite Kate Adwell, he's just part of the scientific committee. Uh, she will have a word with us about more in depth about what we expect from this meeting and, and the, what is happening in the next couple of days. Thank you. Thank you so much, Valentina. So on behalf of the organising committee, I would like to warmly welcome all of you to this annual meeting in this wonderful, wonderful location. Um, I would like to welcome new and returning members, 
So for some people, this will be your first time here. Maybe you've heard about the meeting in the past and for whatever reason has brought you here, we welcome you. Some people are coming back perhaps after one meeting previously. And of course, there'll be several people here who have uh, attended many of these meetings. Wherever you fit in all of that, um, you may find quite quickly that this is something of a family environment. And I suppose like all families, if it's your first time, you might feel like the new boyfriend or girlfriend trying to find your way amongst these um, networks that seem entrenched and uh, what are the rules and how, how does it all work? And I would encourage you to do what you would do at any kind of wedding or um, 21st birthday party. And that's just to get out and talk to people. So um, Valentina referred to this as a conference, and, it, and in many ways it is a conference because it's, because it's the opportunity um, for practitioners and researchers to share their work with peers in the field. But we also, I guess, like to consider it a meeting. So what's the difference between a meeting and a conference? Well, we've all been to those conferences where you can kind of feel pretty disengaged and sit at the back and, you know, before you know, you get home and you realise you weren't really at the conference at all, you were just responding to emails and dealing with queries from home. Um, so what we really try and do at this meeting is have um, everyone in the room really be present and engaged. And for that reason, we have quite long discussion times after the presentations, and they're not just the usual like five minutes of difficult questions you might get at the end of a speech, but rather really an opportunity for discussion. And it's often things that are said in those discussions that end up being you know, the spark in someone's uh, brain in the room that will then go on to lead to something. So please consider those discussion times really valuable and a really important chance to engage. Something else you'll notice about the meeting is that we have, um, although we have a long day tomorrow, we're down here at 8.30, we have long breaks as well. We have long morning and afternoon teas and we have long lunches. And that's a deliberate thing as well. So, um, you know, that people here are from really diverse disciplines if they are scholars and if they're from the world of practitioner, again, diverse practitioners um, coming at this from a whole range of ways. And that's really important as well, because it's very rare that we actually have the opportunity to engage with our peers from such broad perspectives, but with one really common goal and interest in mind. And that's the question of vaccination uptake and what we can do to improve that and drive that and um, increase confidence and increase demand and help systems be resilient. So um, it's such an opportunity, again, to, to learn from peers um, who we might not normally get to interact with. So please seize those moments. Please sit with different people at lunch and different people at, t at morning tea. Take the opportunity to, to get to know people. If you see somebody sitting alone and looking lost, please invite them into your group and invite them into your conversation because it can be awkward being that <laughs> that person at the wedding that doesn't know anyone. So, so please, yeah, please do reach out and include and I know that you all will. And wonderful things have happened at this meeting. Um, the kinds of chance relationships that are formed have led to collaborations, have led to mentorships, have led to, to teams. Um, so, th I mean, this is all the stuff that happens at morning tea, of course, but then the kind of things that happen during the exchanges of the meeting are collaborations are formed, um, concepts are imported from one jurisdiction into another. So um, we have this wonderful capacity to, to, co to connect, to reinvent, to, to get ideas. So please feel confident to speak. Please feel confident to ask questions. There are no stupid questions. So please, you know, ask and share and comment and engage because that is the purpose of the meeting. I would also like to say a special shout out to our friends from lower and middle income countries. Um, many of us here do research or work in, uh, in high income countries where we have, you know, our own set of problems, of course, um, but it's always really important that we hear from um, our comrades working in other contexts and that you keep, you know, calling us out and calling us out to pay attention to what's happening in the places that you're from and so that we don't uh, kind of get sort of stuck in, in worrying about high income countries, which sometimes, you know, when, when, when that's where we're working, we can do, but we really want to um, encourage everyone to, to think about the, the broader global context as well. So um, some of the things that will be, you know, as always, the organising committee has a big job putting together the agenda for the meeting and uh, working out what we think um, are going to be the cutting edge emerging, emergent ideas and problems and what we think are important things for people in the field to share. 
So um, I'm not going to cover all of them. And of course, you can all look at the, uh, you know, the, the, the book for yourselves and see, see what's in store. But as always, we will have um, some focus on this question of measurement and measuring attitudes and you know, what, where is the field? So a lot of this, because we've been meeting for a few years now, a lot of this is kind of updates on where certain projects are at or where certain tools are at. So we'll be engaging with that. I'm really excited about the sessions that we're going to have dealing with systems resilience um, and this idea of, you know, looking at systemic factors in, in vaccination programs and uptake and demand. Um, of course, always um, we have a focus on the ways that we can actually um, train healthcare providers to communicate with the people in their care. Um, so we'll be looking again at what's out there and what's in the pipeline. Um, we have a session looking at diverse perspectives and really that's a kind of way of saying there are some out of left field ideas and concepts and we like to make space for those in this meeting. So we like to hear from you know, something that's maybe a little unusual. So we have a session of looking at some diverse perspectives on engaging with these questions. Um, and of course, we also have um, the question of how we're engaging as researchers and practitioners with changing regimes of immunisation governance. So as more and more countries are turning to mandatory vaccination, we want to ask ourselves what that means and what that means for us as scholars and practitioners. Um, and what does it mean for the big questions we have around, um, around consent and around, you know, the appropriateness of these interventions? And of course, we also have um, and have maintained in this meeting for some years an interest in narratives. So the power of stories. Everyone loves a good story. So what, what can we take from stories? What evidence base is there emerging for the use of narratives and stories? And how can we use them in our practice? So that's a little bit of what's in store. Um, please also, of course, enjoy the beautiful grounds, enjoy the lake. You can swim even when it's cold. Um, we have the beautiful town at our, at our footsteps as well. So please, please enjoy all of that. And I wish you all a very happy and a very productive meeting on behalf of the organising committee. And now I would like to invite our wonderful keynote speaker to the stage.